Hello, this is Matt from Tracy and Matt.co.uk and from Unboxings.com. Here I am looking at the Vodafone 858 Smart, which is actually the Huawei U8160, uh, but basically Vodafone have branded it as the 858 Smart. So we're going to have to take a quick look. First of all, we've got the warranty terms and conditions. We have a Vodafone Quick Start Guide, which is just a, have a large leaflet that opens out and it covers all the uh, the basic features and installing the battery, the SIM card and all that kind of stuff. We have safety information. Then the handset on top. Come back to in a moment. Just taking a look at the rest of the accessories. So we have a USB to micro USB sync charge cable. We'll just point out that uh, though this is the first time I'm looking at this. This is a PR model so obviously somebody else has had a look at some other time. And there is a wired headset. So it has a four pole, three and a half mil jack with an inline, small inline microphone and simple push button. And then the actual headphones themselves, just kind of average plastic in-ear headphones. Obviously you can use your own headphones with this uh, handset if you choose to, because we do have that three and a half mil jack. Then there's a charger, which is a USB style. So USB connector on the bottom, just plugs in and along with the sync charge cable charge up. Last of all we have the battery which is a 1200 milliamp hour battery and doesn't weigh too much. So coming back to the handset, whatever, uh, it has obviously this is a white styling with a black face. 2.8 inch display is quarter VGA 240 by 320 pixels, a capacitive touch screen and capacitive buttons underneath, home menu back and search. Loudspeaker on the front, and I think that's like a little ambient light or proximity sensor there. It's not a forward facing camera. Hole there is for the, is actually the microphone. Left hand side completely bare, nothing there to be seen on the right, on the left hand side. On the bottom, we have the micro USB connector for sync and charge. There's a hole here which is an eyelet so you can connect up a phone charm or lanyard or whatever. On the left, uh, on the right-hand side, rather, is the up and down volume control, which is typically on the other side on many devices, but it's here on the right on this one. Three and a half mil headphone connector on top. Uh, also, we can use that for our own headphones or the supplied wire, uh, wired headset. And then the power button just to the side there. So obviously for uh, powering up or and uh, for putting the screen in and out of sleep mode. On the back, we have a simple 1.9 megapixel camera. Uh, I don't think it's autofocus, I think it's a fixed focus um, camera. So uh, it's quoted here as being 1.9 uh, megapixels and then we have the loudspeaker next to that. The back cover pops off quite simply and underneath here we have space here for our SIM card and then a 2 gig uh, micro SD card also in place. The support for the mic uh, on the micro SD card is up to 32 gig, which is uh, it's not bad. Well, it's very good in fact, but considering that this is an entry level handset, you might uh, expect it to be slightly less in terms of the support there. Uh, while I mentioned the fact that it's entry level, um, it is a fairly cheap handset, and you are probably going to guess in terms of the specification that I've already told you about uh, with the quarter VGA display and the 1.9 megapixel camera and so on. But um, it is uh, around £60 on pay as go here in the UK, this handset, so it's very much entry level. And for anybody that's uh, looking to try um, an Android handset for the first time, it might be a good way to do so. so let me just see if we've got uh, some life in the battery. Yep, there we go. So while it powers up, run down the rest of the specification. Uh, in terms of the size, it's just uh, 104 millimeters from top to bottom, 57 millimeters wide, and at the thickest point there, it's uh, 12.6 millimeters. Very, very lightweight, 104 grams. It feels extremely light in your hand, and the styling means it does kind of sit kind of nice in your hand. But it's a small phone, and well, the display is even smaller in place there 2.8 uh, inch display, which, as you can see there, with that, it there isn't, uh, it doesn't exactly fill the device. There is quite a, uh, a lot of, um, I guess, in inverted commas, wasted space there around the handset. It's got a 528 MHz processor, 256 MB of RAM and 512 MB of internal ROM. Uh, although only 130 MB of the internal ROM is accessible uh, to the user, the rest is for the actual uh, you know, ROM area and everything else. 
Um, we do have built-in Wi-Fi supporting 802.11 B and G and FM radio uh, with RDS support. They have GPS supporting assisted GPS and Bluetooth 2.0 with A2DP support. The other thing is it is Android 2.2 so it's uh, is, is reasonable in that respect, um, but uh, not a terribly fast processor and not a fabulous uh, amount of memory or screen. I'm just going to peel that screen protector off because uh, it's actually damaged the screen, the protector is damaged and it's affecting our ability to see the screen. So let's uh, see if we can actually tap here to begin and we shall uh, skip using the on-screen keyboard and enable data services. I'm going to skip the account setup for now. Allow Google location services for the GPS and automatic on all the other stuff. And just wait for that to start. And there we go. So let's start it up. Uh, we're at the home screen. The display isn't particularly bright. I think it's just a uh, kind of a, a regular. LCD display, uh, nothing particularly clever or special about it, and as I say, quarter VGA. So on the home screen, we have the Google search with voice search functionality, messaging, Gmail, Facebook, and camera. Swipe across, there we go, and then we have uh, a control bar, so in turn, mobile data, a Wi Fi, Bluetooth, and change the brightness of the backlight. Ah, oh, there we go. There we go, maximum brightness. Market Shop Music, uh, Music Shop and Prepay, and then uh, Vodafone Updates on the other one. And coming back the other way, whoops, you've got the Facebook, Music, FM Radio and Gallery, YouTube, and what looks like the me a messaging widget there. So go back to the middle. Obviously we can customise these with additional widgets and shortcuts and so on. And there are a few in there that we could actually play with. And come back out of there, pushing the button in the centre brings up our full list of applications, so in here it looks fairly typical in terms of what we have web browser, Facebook, email, that kind of stuff, Gmail um, Twitter, TouchPal there um, there's a couple of Vodafone specific icons which is the music shop, shop and updates and prepay manager oh, and another diff uh, different internet icon there that we have which I think is specific uh, at the bottom here, we're going to pop into the menu, go into settings, wireless networks, turn on Wi-Fi, and we'll just connect to a Wi-Fi network. Find one. There we go. So we're going to connect to Wi-Fi, and there we go. So we have a, a kind of condensed this touch panel. Uh, quality keyboard there, which is not a standard Android keyboard, um, but uh, it's quite small on the screen. And if we got Sorority's control here, doesn't look like it, so it's not turning into landscape. Well, I see it's just a little slow. So let me go ahead and do that. Okay, we're just obtaining an IP address, and we are connected. So we can go back home and take a look at a couple of, a couple of the things on here. So first of all we're going to take a quick look at the web browser and see how that performs. And rather than going to uh, there, we are going to go to our site. So let's key that in. Keyboard isn't bad actually. And the touch screen is nice and responsive here. There we go. So that wasn't too painful. I thought that with the small screen and the small keyboard, uh, I would find that a little bit more difficult to actually type that in on display, but that wasn't a problem at all. Page is loading pretty quickly. We're also using broadband and Wi Fi rather than using the mobile network. But page is loading fairly quickly and rendering fairly quickly too. Uh, which is impressive when we consider that uh, it's only a 528 megahertz processor. Uh, we don't have multi-touch, so I cannot use two fingers to zoom in out, um, but we obviously can use the buttons in the corner. So there we go, if we zoom right out to represent the full page, uh, it's not going to be, you're not going to be able to read 
very many, if any, websites, I would say, in portrait uh, using a quarter video display. Might be a bit more of a viable option, slightly more viable in landscape. Uh, let's see if we can scroll around and no problem, we can do double tap to zoom in and out. And it is doing text reflow, so when I go to an article here, all the text is reflowing so that it fits within the page rather than flowing off the page, which means we can just scroll up and down to actually review the article. So that's uh, the text reflow, so that's working okay. And display isn't bad actually. Uh, Horse VGA nowadays um, sounds um, kind of horrendous uh, to me personally when um, many manufacturers are going very high end in terms of QHD displays and so on. Um, but again, remembering that this is a handset that's entry level and only around £60, um, I guess we should bear that in mind. Uh, let's also take a quick look at uh, Google Maps just to see how quickly and if indeed it does pick up satellite signal for the GPS, little icon up on the toolbar flashing away indicating that it's looking for a GPS signal and it's picked it up, yep, perfectly so again, no multi-touch so I can't use two fingers to affect my zoom in and out on display I can use the icons in the corner but it has, uh, yeah, that has picked that up uh, no problem and here scrolling around as I am uh, you don't really seem to be noticing any lag with the process performance so that's quite cool what else do we have? Well, it's customary to look at YouTube so let's do the same here and do a quick search Okay, the autocorrect is kind of annoying me. And there we go. So, let's just pick any one of these for now. And it's buffering and playing. So, pretty quick in buffering and playing. Again, I'm using broadband and Wi-Fi. But the actual handset is performing quite well. If I turn this way, the accelerometer is responding fairly quickly. It's not too terrible. It's not the most sensitive. You have to you know, kind of tip it to quite an extreme for it to register the rotation. But uh, it's doing an okay job, so that's kind of cool. Um, that's about it, really. Uh, oh, let's take a quick look at the camera, finally. Uh, I'm not expecting too many miracles from the camera. But let's have a go anyway. So, something bright and colourful there as it is. There is some lag here. You can probably make out through the display there. There's some lag in actually uh, recording the movement that I'm making there. But uh, let's see if we can take a quick snap. Okay, that took an extremely quick picture. So there's not really any lag in actually capturing the, the image, that's pretty cool. And in terms of what has been recorded, uh, it's hard to say on the display, really, and obviously I'll keep trying to use the two finger zooming. It's not, it's not terrible, it's obviously going to be limited by the fact that it's 1.9 megapixels and, you know, it's a small camera, so the optics aren't going to be fab fabulous. But, uh, yeah, it's adequate, I would say. So that is a very quick look at the Vodafone 858 Smart or the Huawei U8160. We'll have a full review for you over the coming weeks. But in the meantime, if you want to follow us on Twitter, it's twitter.com slash tracyandmatt or facebook.com slash tracyandmatt.co.uk. And please do feel free to ask us any questions, post comments and so on. I'll be back soon with some more videos and reviews on tracyandmatt.co.uk. But for now, thanks for watching. Bitdefender is dedicated to protecting people's digital lives, so working with Unboxings.com to help preview and review the latest technology is a perfect fit.